guys uh, so today we will learn uh, i'll just try to show uh, for the new officers uh, who joined for first time and have to do annual inspection of uh, dry chemical powder on board so i'll show how to uh, do the inspection annual inspection what all things to check how to open how to dismantle uh, this extinguisher so we'll go step by step so there is a this pin I'd like to show you there is this pin we have to remove it and to release some pressure okay we need to open it so this could be done by the help of a screw driver so okay just okay so here we open so it will release the pressure and uh, when this cover is out will help uh, this to come out okay so now we have to open uh, this cover so for this we have to use american spanner or the small pipe wrench or wrench spanner whatever you like to call so for this we have this is the american spanner we will use this so you have to just put this spanner and with the help of the spanner you have to open it so i'll just open it so once you have loosen it up with the spanner you can open it by hand like this so one thing you have to be very careful when you are uh, doing the anvil servicing on board is that this clamp this should not be pressed there should be some locking arrangement some safety arrangement in place like here we have a arrangement in place so that it doesn't touch some extinguisher will not have that in that case you have to be very careful you have to put some wooden piece or or some other obstruction so that it doesn't meet because if it meets the co2 uh, cartridge that is inside will puncture and there will be the release of the dry chemical powder okay so we are almost opened okay so when you have loosened it up and you are ready to open you just take it keep shaking and keep picking it up so it will come out as you can see it is coming out Okay, so this is out. So now this is very important. This is the CO2 cylinder, which you have to open and weigh. And if the loss of this CO2 cartridge is the loss of the weight is more than 10% of its original weight, then as required uh, by the regulations, you have to renew it with the new ones. If it is uh, not lost more than 10% of its original weight. then it could be uh, fixed back and uh, you can fix it back that's not a problem so now uh, important thing is so once you have taken this out you have to inspect this cartridge co2 cartridge you have to take out and you have to weigh it and another important thing is while you are putting back this tube you make sure that this rubber uh, uh, outing is not removed if it is removed then uh, it will be exposed and uh, it will be choked by the powder inside and uh, the extinguisher will not work very properly another thing you have to check is the discharge tube it should be clear discharge tube you have to check if it is clear if there is any obstruction you have to remove those obstructions so now we will open the uh, co2 cartridge but before that uh, i'd like to show that what we have to check inside the uh, inside the extinguisher which most of us knows that we have to check if there is any caking or uh, any moisture inside and if there is any moisture or caking you have to change the powder if there is caking you can uh, you know shake it and uh, make it loose and if it is okay you can use the same powder but if it is not okay you need to change the powder so how you know there is caking caking means uh, like because of moisture the powder has been become uh, you know hard and it has uh, become in shape of cake but here we can see you for seeing you just have to move it shake it and you have to see 
if the powder is moving freely or not if it is moving freely that means there is no caking and if it is not that means there is caking so you just shake it and you see if there is any caking or not if there is caking you change the powder if there is not well and good okay guys so now we will see how to remove uh, this co2 cartridge which is uh, the main part of this extinguisher because of which we can fire the extinguisher as you can see when we press this clamp it punctures the co2 uh, cartridge and because of the release of co2 this uh, the powder goes inside this tube and finally it comes to the discharge tube and fires on the fire so now we'll remove the uh, co2 cartridge so how to remove this is that you take a shifter uh, or a shifting spanner and you open this you open this okay so i'll open and we will go on the next step then okay so you can see i have a shifter here so i have fixed it and now i will open it okay so you have to loosen it up and then you can uh, see you can open the co2 cartridge okay okay so here so here it goes you have to check if there is any puncture here or uh, if there is any puncture obviously you have to uh, renew it and you have to check the weight here is the information you will find so you have to just check the weight suppose if the weight is 0.98 and if there is more than 10% of that 0.98 is lost then you need to change this CO2 cartridge with a new one because you cannot refill it you have to replace it with the new one okay so after checking the weight here i am not checking the weight uh, right now just to show you off here i have opened this so once you have checked the weight you found it is okay then you have to put it back so putting back is very easy you just uh, held it hold it and you just screw it back you see like this you have to just screw it back you have to make sure uh, uh, it is well back in the place the threads are sitting properly okay okay now so i have fixed it back it is uh, back in place so this is checked the uh, once you are satisfied your weight of the co2 cartridge is okay not uh, the way uh, loss is not more than 10 percent it is okay you have checked the discharge tube it's okay you have uh, checked the container you have uh, shaken it and you found that it is freely flowing that means there is no caking so it is okay so now time to box it up you know boxing it up is uh, one of the most uh, uh, difficult part but uh, there is a technique by using which it can be done very easily so the technique is when you put back this unit when you put back you need to constantly keep shaking it keep shaking and apply the pressure from the top it will take some time but it will surely go in you have to keep shaking the extinguisher container also you have to keep shaking and you have to keep applying the force here so i'll just do that 